Good evening, class. Welcome, everyone. Miss Claudia Maria, Miss Norma Patricia. Good evening. Good evening, thank you. Uh, Miss Concepcion, Maria, Mr. Pablo Adalberto, and Mr. Tony Elias. So you see that the problem was solved. That is, you know, a, that is a situation why we don't read the, that is why they didn't answer. They have to learn to read the, the, the instructions, yes or no. I don't know. Um... Maybe, maybe because we are used to rewrite, but it didn't say write this, rewrite the sentence correctly. Mm. Only but the, 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 is, isn't, but isn't the others were, were right when you write it. So all the time uh -huh. in the it last only four the... sessions, it is all the, all the sentence. It is the first time that uh -huh. we need to use only the, the simple word that is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the other three are, you have to write the complete sentence, the full sentence, right? Yes, exactly. That was the confusion, but they should have said, I think, but finally. But finally. finally. Is not, yeah. is not uh, write correctly. Uh, it, it doesn't um, tell us if all the sentences or only the word, the, the, the background. But it says uh, correct the mistake well. Uh, finally, the, 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 the good thing is that, okay, you are going to get the point. Okay, here, Miss Norma Patricia, good evening. Okay, in one minute, we're going to get started and tomorrow, Friday. Friday, today is Friday, tomorrow, Saturday. Okay. I want to yeah. have a class. Good evening. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, some of you don't work, yeah? I work, but some of you rest tomorrow. That's great. That's excellent. Happy for you. Okay, here we go. It is exactly the time to get started. And I'm going to start by a uh, hello, Nelson. Welcome. I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad that all of you are here. And let's get started in order to finish on time. Okay, so here we go. And then, as I told you, I'm going to share my PPT with you as I do every single day in order to, to remind you about some aspects. So today is November 11th, 2022. And here we have the agenda for our video conference number eight, which is today. But let me see. Someone is writing on the chat. Nelly. Nelly is going to be a listener today. Okay, Nelly, thank you for telling us. Let's continue then. Okay, here we go. I, it didn't let me share the full screen. Hmm. Thank you. And here we go. Okay, as, as I was telling you, today is November 11th. Next week, we're going to be in the middle of the month and Christmas is next door. And here. It's too soon. Agenda for our video conference number eight, the first activity, greetings. Activity number two, feedback. We're going to be reading the objectives. Actually, you are going to be reading the objectives for today's class. In the pre-task, okay, pay attention to this. Ask and tell information about places at a company. In the preparation task, ask and tell information about places at a company. And I expect that we're going to be covering pages 25, 25. 23, 25, and 26, but let's see if we have enough time, okay? And the wrapping up of the class at the end, a reminder for the homeworks, remember that uh, in this uh, unit, you have to take a midterm test, okay? As every day, I have to remind you about the requirements, your full name uh, must be visible, camera on, the sound, the microphone must be off 
unless you are told not to do so. Active participation. I am happy with the group because you are always participating actively unless you are listeners. And the attendance. Again, twice is taken at about 8.20 and at about 9.40, two times and 120 minutes per class. At the end, one of you is going to stay with me for 10 minutes in order to have the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, there's one day for each of you. So again, this is the ideal, right? That all of you have your cameras on. And the mute for the microphone, camera on, the chat's available via WhatsApp and via Zoom. The ask for help bottom is available also in the breakout rooms. And again, reminding you about being respectful. I know that you are respectful, but it is good to remind it. And here we are in week number two, okay? So uh, by November 15th, everything must be done for week number two, section number two in the platform. And here, is your participation. The general objective, okay? Who's going to help the class reading the general objective for today? Only one volunteer, come on. You have to participate. I'm going to choose the volunteer then. It is not possible that the same students participate. Always know you have to participate. Nelson, thank you. Very soon you are going to be in module six. Okay, Nelson, thank you so much. Begin reading. Two point, two point for example. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's it. For the final score, for the final score. So you're going yeah. to get 12. <laughs> okay, Nelson, let's read the general objective. Okay, general general objective. Particip participants will develop them competencies that will allow them to mark steep in a progress and ask and ask where questions to check the maintenance procedures are meeting meet in face-to-face -face and telephone conversation with others in world situation. Thank you so much. Who's going to help us reading the specific objective? Me, teacher. Thank you, please. Participants will be able to ask for, for and provide information on location of facilities of the company. Great, excellent. And the class objective for today? Me, teacher. Thank you. Miss? By by the end of the lesson, participants will be able to talk about places in the workplace. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. Only uh, some little details. Manenance, met, because meet is in present. Procedures are met, okay, past tense, in face-to-face -face and blah, blah, blah. And here, participants will be able to ask for and provide information. Okay, and uh, here talk. Remember when we pronounce this word, you forget about L. It is voiceless. We don't pronounce the letter L. You just say talk. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate a lot your participation. Let's move then to the feedback. Let's remember that here, uh, yesterday we were working with interrogative sentence, but what kind of interrogative sentences? Well, yesterday I told you that questions, only the word questions is a plural countable noun. So grammatically, it is incorrect to use is with plural countable nouns. Therefore, we must use are there any questions instead of is there any questions? because the word questions is plural. So we need to make them fit. If you remember, you were practicing changing this set of sentences into interrogative 
uh, sentences use center is under are, is there, are there, and you were providing affirmative and negative answers, yes, but short answers to the questions. And one more thing, let's see. You were practicing also this conversation. Now I need two volunteers in order to read this conversation. Let me see the volunteers. Two volunteers. One is going to read Miss Jenner and the other one, Michael. Me, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. You'll be Miss Jenner and Luis Miguel, right? You're going to yeah. read Michael. Let's begin. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes, I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I am a supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in, in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listener? <clears throat> yes, absolutely. The conference room is in next to training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational place? Is there a lunch? Okay. Thank you so much. And here I told you that you have to correct this part. Yes. Yeah. Now, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Miss Claudia Maria, I have a question for you. Is there a laptop in front of you? Yes, there is. Okay, very well. Mr. Juan Antonio Elias, is there a, a promotional background behind you from your company? Yes, is there. No, yes, yes there, there is. There yes. is. Okay, Nelson Orlando, is there a picture on the wall behind you? Is there, is there a picture on the wall behind you? On the wall, la última palabra. <laughs> behind, behind you, behind you. Is there uh, a picture on the wall behind you? <laughs> yes. Yes, there. There, there is. Okay, very well. There Thank is a, you. A, a, a last, a last day, diner. I, ah, I a picture la, of the last dinner. Yo pensé que era una de todo el equipo. No. Ah, ay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Pablo, Mr. Sí. Pablo Abrego, is there a curtain? on the wall behind you? Yes, there is. Okay, very well. Mr. Atilio Castillo, is there a light in the transportation means where you are? No. <laughs> we, see a, we, see a, we see a lamp, yes or no? No. Here, no, there isn't, but we see a, a lamp. No. Maybe it is the reflex. El reflejo. La lámpara es su carro. Yes. Yeah, because we see a lamp yes, there, in, there, in the window. Yes, yes. There is one lamp. Yeah, very well. Miss Concepcion. Miss Concepcion, is there a virus near your your inside your body? Yes, there is. Yes, there is the flu virus, yes. Yeah, the, because you, you've been sick. Okay, excellent, very well. So that was the feedback. And here, now we're going to continue. Listen, there are some things that are permitted and there are some other things that are not permitted to do. So we are going to practice today with the word allow, which is a synonym for permit. Okay, allowed. There are many things that you are allowed to do at work and some others that you are not allowed to do um, in many places because there are regulations everywhere. 
in some restaurants, you are not allowed to smoke, yeah? And if you want to smoke, you ask for a smoking area. Is that correct? Very well. Okay, in some other places, you're not allowed to dress informally, yeah? Because there is a dressing code. And well, they, that is why they say that uh, restrictions apply, yeah? So we're going to work a little bit on that today. And let me see here. Okay, now we move to uh, the next activity. And here we go. Listen to this. You could say parking is not permitted here, which is the most common, but you have here. You may not park here. That's correct too. You are not permitted to park here or parking is not allowed here. This is the word that I was telling you about. Allowed. Permitir. Parking is not allowed here. Aquí no se permite estacionarse. Yeah? But this is in passive voice, pero esto está en voz pasiva. El parqueo no es permitido aquí, en otras palabras, ¿sí? Okay, so to be allowed or not to be allowed is what we're going to be doing. What are you allowed to do in your company? What are you not allowed to do in your company? In some companies, you are allowed to wear a helmet as a protection, yeah? If you don't wear a helmet, you are not allowed to go by that area. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. So let's move to the next slide. Mm, I don't know if one of you is going to share this slide with the class or do you want me to share it? Are you going to share it, uh, Tony? Okay, thank you. Yes. You tell me so we can move to the next one. I captured the, the, the okay. Image. Okay, the slide. Here we go. Look at these sentences. This cannot be allowed. Esto no puede permitirse. No puede ser permitido. It cannot be allowed. No puede permitirse. No puede ser permitido. This should not be allowed. Esto no debería permitirse o no debería ser permitido, right? They should not be allowed to overshadow the opportunity. We, the opportunities. This cannot be allowed to continue. The man was not allowed entry to the house. What is not allowed on paper and film is not allowed on the computer and the internet. This cannot be allowed. And then we say, what is not allowed on paper and film, lo que no se permite en papel y tinta ni en <clears throat> video is not allowed on computer and the internet. That could be one regulation at, at work, yes? Because there are restrictions in other words. So right now, class, after these examples, we're going to continue and here, we're going to go over the manual. And let me see, I'm going to start sharing um, here. Okay, so we scroll, 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 scroll. Over this, over here, over here, over here. Here, look at this. Directions and instructions. Ask for and provide information on location or facilities of the company. This is what I told you about the pre-task, yes? We are at page 23. Ask for, preguntar por, and provide information in the, y dar información on location sobre la ubicación of facilities of the company, de las instalaciones de la compañía. And here we have, do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? Tell a partner. For example, if I say, um, Mr. Pablo Abrego, do you know where the meeting room is in your company? Do you know where the meeting room is in your company, Mr. Abrego? 
Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. In short yes, answer, do. now tell me where is the um, where is the meeting room in your company? ¿Dónde está ubicado el, el salón de reuniones de conferencias en su compañía? Where is the meeting room located? You may say it is on the first floor, on the second floor, or it is next to the manager's office, or it is next to the, on the second floor, next to human resources department or whatever, yes? Did you get it? Hello? If you remember, you were describing previously in the previous classes that there was, okay, in my company, there is a parking lot, yeah? In my company, there is a cafeteria. Where is the cafeteria in your, in your company? Where is it located? Yesterday, I was asking, is there a, is there a vending machine in your company? Yes, there is. Where is it? ¿Dónde está la vending machine en su, en su compañía? On the hall or at the main entrance or in front of the reception area? I don't know. Entonces ustedes van a estar dando las ubicaciones de las diferentes eh, dependencias en sus compañías, de locations, ¿ok? No es acerca de direcciones, no. It's about the different places in your company, ¿ya? Yeah? Where is the coffee station? Okay, let's imagine that I ask you that. If I say, mm, let me see. Josue, Mr. Josue Garcia, is there a coffee station in your company? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, there is. There is, sorry. Okay, yes. now the second question. Where is the coffee station in your company? Where is the coffee station in your company? Uh, okay, the coffee station is next to the meeting room. It's next to the meeting room, but where is, is the meeting room? On the first floor, on the second floor, on the two-way square? Yeah, in the first floor. On the first floor. On okay? the first floor. Okay, great. So these are the kind of questions and answers that you are going to be practicing right now. But before we go to that activity, because it is exactly the time to take the first attendance for today. Mr. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Atilio, you were here, where are you? He's not here. Sandra. No, al haber cambiado del carro um, al, al... Ah, to the ah. other device. Yeah. Okay. Brandon, Josué. Brandon. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present. Thanks. Concepción Marina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Darío Antonio. Darío is not available today. Okay. Stephanie Carranza. Ah, yeah, she's Thank here. You. Thank you, Miss. Josué Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Jos Mr. Josué. Mr. Mr. Josué. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Corbera. Present teacher. Thank Present teacher. you. Thank you. Thank you. Marianne Scarlett. Mrs. Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett. Rodríguez Luna. Hello, Miss Marianne Scarlett. Rodríguez Luna. Are you here? No, she's not. Okay. Marina Jansi. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset Hernández. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you, Miss. Nelson Orlando. Nelson, you're Thank here. You, Thank Present. you. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Mr. Pablo Alberto Abrego. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Miss Carla Sofia. She's absent. And Miss Celia Cristina. She's absent too. Okay. We are the only two absent girls. So class, do you have any question or any doubt about the activity? The questions you are going to be asking? Tienen alguna duda sobre las preguntas que van a estar realizando en este momento? You use your imagination. Is there a drinking fountain in your, in your company? Yes, there is. Where is it? Where is it? Donde esta? Yeah. And is there a, what else? Is there a, mm, a games room? Because you were mentioning some of you. Is there a games room in your company? Yes, there is or no, there is it. If it is affirmative, where is it? Where is it, okay? Donde esta ubicado? Donde esta? This is if the answer is affirmative. But don't answer negative to the all, all so you don't have to. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Donde esta? Okay, donde esta ubicado? Okay, try to use on the first floor, floor, on the second floor, on the third floor, next to, try to use the prepositions, okay? Or if you say, where is the cafeteria? In the building, yeah, but where in the building? And then you say, you give more information, okay? So class, right now, I'm going to send you the invitation so you can join the different groups and begin practicing speaking. You don't have to write, only speaking, okay? Is there or are there? It depends. Is there an entertainment room in your company? No, there isn't. I'm sorry, very sad. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open the uh, breakout rooms. The invitation has been sent. Teacher, I have a problem. I press escape when you send the the the, um, the breakout the invitation to the breakout rooms. I I don't take the the button. You didn't take. Okay, so I'm going to um to join you. I'm going to move you to group number three, and then I return you to group number two because you are in group number two. Okay. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Thanks. Okay, join and then I take you back. Group only because your partners are Josue. And Mirna Lisette, I'm going to uh, transfer you to group number number one. No, okay. better to group number two, because in group number two, there is Nelly and Tony, okay? Ay. Group number two, I'm going to send you the invitation, Pablo. Está cargando el combustible. Sí, porque la nave ahorita le dio frío. Ok, en okay. this group, everybody is available, even though you are at the gas station, Luis Miguel. Ok, the special gas station. Only Nelly Lilibet is, is, is not okay. available. Ok, he's not allowed to. Excellent, that is the attitude, ok. Yes, Luis Miguel. It's electric. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Practice voice. Okay. Remember to ask and answer about the location of the places in your companies. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Where?
two, four. Um, sí, sí, o mucho. No la menciono. No la menciono. Norma Patricia, su pregunta. Ok. Aquí, um, a Concepción o a mí. A Concepción, la amo. ¿Cómo es la respuesta? Yes, that is. And yes. it is next to the reception. Reception. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Este, va, ahora usted me haría otra a mí, ¿verdad? Pongámoslo de las salas de junta si quiere. Is there a... Is there... Uh, este, quiero ver. Este. A meeting room in your company. <coughs> Company. Este, ¿dónde están las salas de reunión de la compañía, verdad? Is there, is there a company? Uh -huh. is, is there, there a, a meeting room? A meeting room, ajá. Uh -huh. Este, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo se escribe? Porque en mi caso, en cada área hay mínimo una, dos, y hay áreas que hasta tres salas de juntas. Eh, pongo eh, en cada área. Ajá. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces sería yes. No, no. Ok. Ya se nos unió a Tilio. Ah, está Tilio, ya tiene internet. ¿Tiene... <risa> no se había cambiado de lugar, solo el internet. ¿Sí? <risa> es que no lo había pagado. <risa> ah, bueno. Ok. Vaya. Ah, pues ¿Qué pregunte, que pregunte a Tilio. Ah, ok. Pues, pues le vamos a preguntar a Tilio. O preguntémosle a él. Espérate, okay. pero me voy, a, me voy a entender ahorita. No sé qué están hablando. Ok, entonces a, a, le voy a preguntar a Norma Patricia. Ok. Eh, are there, um... No, there is. No. No. There, there aren't. I think that do you have many um, coffee stations because... If you have, if you have uh, 20 uh, water dispensers in, in your office. Hello class, everything okay in this group? Hello teacher. Hola, todo bien en este equipo? Hola. Hola compañera teacher. Acá está Brandon Zavala con usted. Ah, vaya. ¿No han practicado? Sí, hasta ahorita que usted me está hablando, la compañera me habló, pero me dijo que le iba a hacer una consulta a usted, ya no me contestó. Stephanie Carranza. Lo que voy a hacer es que, miren, lo voy a enviar a otro equipo, porque en el equipo 4 solo tengo a Claudia y a Sandra Leticia. ¿Sí? Los envío al equipo 4. Vaya. En este momento le, le transfiero a usted a uh, Miss Wendy, ¿ok? Great. Y Brandon, hello, are you available, Brandon? Hola, Brandon. Brandon, are you, are you still sick? Uh, yes, teacher, I'm sick. Uh, okay, okay no. pero le, le, voy, le voy a transferir al equipo sí. cuatro para que escuche sí, la, que la práctica. Okay, very well. Como le decía, eh, la, las, 
en mi, en mi compañía son áreas separadas, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero eh, hay dos, hay dos, dos gimnasios. Entonces pongamos in my company. Uh -huh. Um, ay, ese, ay, no me acuerdo cómo se pone. There are. There are, y there is. Uh -huh. there, there are, are two are. gyms. There are Ajá, two there gyms. There are, tiene que ser. Are two gyms. Ok. Mi dolor de mi Ajá, vaya. ¿Qué más? Quiero ver algo otra cosa. Um, de juego, pare de café, Dice que tenemos que hacer sala de, sala de juntas, gimnasio, no sé qué más. Eh, lo que dijo la teacher para hacer preguntas. Mm, hello class, listen. Wendy Maricel is in this group, is part of this group. Okay. So consider, consider her uh, as another partner. And Brandon Zavala is going to be here, but kind of listener because he is sick of the okay. flu. And his throat and nose are, you know, how people are these days, okay? But Wendy can participate with you a lot. Okay. Okay. Wendy, is there a gym in your company? Un park. Yes. Enfrente del parque de Huachapán. Correcto. Ah, pues un park. Perdón, park. Un park. No ha llegado a la casa todavía, entonces. Nueve. Este trabajo está muy negrero, este Atilio. No, no, no estoy haciendo otro detalle. No ah. ah, bueno. Ah, está de vacaciones, dice, pero no puede ah, reclamar. Qué lamba, Nelson, que de vacaciones. You have relax. Oh. Nelson, de vacaciones, de vacation. Oh. Ah. De vacation. He is on vacation, you say. He is on vacation, wow. Ah, overtime, overtime. De vacation. Tiempo de extra, no, tiempo extra está haciendo. <laughs> Ya. Yeah. Se hace pero de, de, de como dice Will Salgado, de show. Oh, ok. Ok, let's continue with the practice, people. Ok. Yes. Tony, there, there is a warehouse in your company. There is no yes. is there is there. Ah, perdón, sí, is there. A <laughs> sí. uh, uh, warehouse. Warehouse. Yes. Uh, there is. Uh, solo tenemos una, Luis Miguel. Bueno, la central, ¿verdad? La central, yeah. la, la bodega central. Yeah. No, we But, have three. Three. Yes. San Martín. Uh -huh. the, the main main is the main warehouse. warehouse. Is the main warehouse warehouse uh, in Catel? Uh, we have a small warehouse. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And the other one, where is? Uh, in I dos in Catel. Yes. Oh. Is there a game area in your company? Oh, there is a, a, a is there a rest room in your company? Yes. ¿Cómo? Que si hay una área de rest room. Uh -huh. ¿Un área de comedor? No. 
de descanso. Um, there is no a dejar... oh, mis resting, resting room. Resting room. Porque si usted dice restroom, es baño. Restroom. Ah, okay. ¿Recuerda? Resting room. Resting room, ok. Ok. Este, me voy a sentar dos minutos porque tengo mensajes del de, de, de jefe y todo eso. Voy a revisar ahorita, no voy a hacer algo. Ok, Wendy en Claudia. Wendy en Claudia. Ya me mm -hmm. Ok, continue with the practice. Va, ah, Wendy, si quiere, hoy pregunta. Yo pregunto. <ríe> Lo mismo le iba a preguntar. Si ¿sí? is, is there a dinner room in your company? Usted me preguntó. <ríe> Dining room. Mm -hmm. Comedor. Uh -huh. Yes, there is, and it is on the first floor. Yes, there is. And, and? there is in the first floor. It is on the first on, floor. On, on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there is. And Is there a pool in your office? ¿Cómo? Repeat, please. Uy, casi no lo escucho. Repeat, please. Is there a pool in your office? Pool. ¿Qué es pool? Piscina. Mm, yes, there is. And where is it? Yes. ¿Cómo? Yes. Where yes, there, is it? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, where is No, ¿dónde está? Ah, ¿dónde está la piscina? Ajá. En, en Antiguo Cuscatlán. No. Que si hay una piscina en su compañía. Ah. Ajá. There is No. There is There is Ah, oh, bueno. Qué galán fue. <risa> eso, eso no hay. Vaya, vale, pregunta. Ay, me toca a mí, vea. Sí. Okay. Eh. Quiero ver. Pero no sé cómo, cómo hacérsela, pero. ¿Cómo se podría hacer? Yo le puse use the location in your company, pero no sé cómo la puedo hacer. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Just, ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer, Tisha? Pero, ¿qué es lo que quiere preguntar, Linda? Es que si usted. Vale, le quiero preguntar a ella que si ella manda ubicación en su compañía. No, pero es que no, no es eso, sino que es donde están las diferentes dependencias. Ah, eso, ajá, de, en, en, el, en, en, el, en el trabajo de ella, de eso estamos, ¿ok? Entonces okay. sería, is there or are there? For example, if you say, is there a cafeteria in your company? And she says, yes, there is one, or yes, there are two. Where are they or where is it? ¿Dónde está? Y ella le da la ubicación de ese lugar, ¿sí? Ok. Hoy sí, ya, ya entendí. Is there a... Is there a... Uh, 
Uh, how do you say guarderia, teacher? Daycare. Ay, <laughs> right. Is there a daycare in your company? There is no. No, there is no. Okay. No, there is no. Okay. Pregúnteme. There is we is we is there, there is Warren Holt in your company? No, is there, porque como es pregunta, iniciamos con is there. Ah, uh, is there. Ajá, uh -huh. is there a water fountain? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, company? there isn't. Ok. Uh, is there a cinema in your company? There is, there, there is not. Okay. Okay, let's return enough okay. practice for those two questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation in the breakout rooms. There is one team still working. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. You have been working with exercise number one. Now here, exercise number two. Listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner, Walter and Mary. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss uh, Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Once again, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet. If you notice, she doesn't say use a helmet. Wear a helmet, as I was telling you, okay? You wear your eyeglasses. I wear a blouse. I don't say I use a blouse. I wear a blouse. I wear a helmet. I wear my eyeglasses, yeah? Okay, wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. So it means two lines. Uh, the earplugs, uh, don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. The red areas are the ones that you are not allowed to go to, okay? Because you might be, uh, hurt or suffer an accident. Yes, Mr. Tony. All that you that do you use in your body, uh, I'm going to say wear. That we wear, the, not that you use, because in Spanish we say use, but in English, uh -huh, we wear. 
mi pregunta I am no I am wearing I am wearing a pair of earrings, okay? For example, en relación a ring. Uh -huh. que si lo ocupo con con mi cuerpo, entonces yes, si es wear, wear. yeah, uh -huh. not use. If I have a esclava or a, uh -huh. uh, yeah, you are I wearing wear a esclava. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, a bracelet or something like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And uh, here we go. Okay. So this is, uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary or about the, um, because notice here, even if she's saying, okay, notice this. Uh, and don't forget to wear the earplugs, the earplugs, okay? Because the earplugs are in here. Don't forget to, e to wear the earplugs all the time. Yeah. Acá le está confirmando, mire. Wear, not use the earplugs all the time. Okay. Very well. Thank you for asking that. It is really important. So, people, questions about the vocabulary or any word? The structure? No? No. Is this the yellow helmet? Okay. Helmet. She's wearing a yellow helmet. She's wearing a pair of eyeglasses. And there are also protective glasses. Yes? And some shields, some protection shields. Um, when you practice this conversation, you are going to forget about these names. You use your names and you switch roles, okay? You take turns, you practice once, you practice a second time, and you switch roles. You replace these names by your names. For example, uh, Mr. Tony Elias is not going to say, good morning, uh, uh, hello everybody, I am Mary. No, now you're going to say, I am Tony, blah, blah, blah. When you finish practicing this conversation and make it real for you, okay? Because you're going to replace these names by your names, you go over and here, See the diagram of the Rex facilities and identify the different places. You have the production area, the reception area, the planning area, the manager office, auditor's office. And here should be manager's office, right? Auditor's office with the possessive. Quality control, uh, restrooms, and exit. The exit, la salida, right? So you're going to be here trying to identify and you write the name or the letter because here you say, this is letter F. What is it letter F? I think this is the-, the Quality control. Quality control, quality control, and quality control and so on, okay? Are we clear about the instructions? What to do, the activities? Activity number two and number three, ready? Ready or not, here we go. Okay, I'm sending you the invitation at this moment. Be careful. Okay, there you are. I sent you the invitations. Please join your groups. Thank you, thank you. Mirna Lisset, join your group. Josue, go to your group, please. Josue, we need you in your group. Marianne, we need you in your group. And Mirna Lisset, okay? Join your different groups, please. And let's begin working. Okay. Hello, Josue. In the previous activity, Josue, were you practicing with Mirna? Uh, no, because uh, the Zoom is crowded, the breakout room. Okay. <laughs> Me sacó y después ya no pude ingresar. Okay, so I'm going to transfer you to another group. Okay, I'm okay. going to transfer you. Uh, let me see. To group number number four, okay? Okay. Now go to group number four. Okay. Okay. 
Ahorita. ¿Dónde tienes aquí, Leo? Yes. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Eh, I Walter, Concepción, is Mary. Helmet all the time while walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Eh, I, no, pero ¿cómo es? Hay que no, poner no, el nombre. Yo soy, y mi nombre tendría que ir. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. sí. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. I am Sandra. And I am providing some of the instructions today. Tell us about that, Mr. Sandra. Miss Sandra. Uh, wear a uh, helmet all the time. Work between uh, the yellow lines and don't forget to uh, wear the airplanes all the time. It is important not not to get close to red areas. Good morning, every young every young. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Claudia, and I am providing some safety instructions today. And tell us about that, Mr. Miss Claudia. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I need you to listen to me. Good, good morning, everyone, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing, providing, okay, and I am providing um, some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. What, wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs. Ear, this is my ear. And you put it in here, the earplugs. Okay, don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Now, class, here, Josue is part of this group, so consider him to practice, okay? Okay, Sandra Josue and Josue. Here. Okay, now you practice Josue and Sandra, please. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Es la misma. Which one? Well, pleasure, safety, safety engineer. Okay, listen, I'm going to read for you. Good morning, okay. everyone, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, now continue practicing. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. pleasure, safety, safety, uh, providing, okay? Okay. 
Iniciamos nuevamente, Nelson. Close to red. Eres. 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 Y hoy nos toca a nosotros, don Luis Miguel. Hoy. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Don Luis. Estaba hablando solo, perdón. Oh. Hello, everybody. I am Liz, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Instruction. Tell us about that, Mr. Luis. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow light, and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is it's important not to get close to the red areas. Okay. Comienza Good morning. Usted. Good morning, every everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Tony, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about, about that, Mr. Tony. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to read areas. Okay. Yo le estaba poniendo flechas, pero si ustedes me dicen que le pongamos el nombre, lo hacemos. Arrows. No. Mejor. It's better like that. Uh, la cosa es no me vayan a confundir ya cuando tengan todas, a no ser que sean diferentes colores, las, los arrows. Yes. Porque si no se pueden confundir ya cuando todo esté completo, ¿sí? Yes. Ok. So you, you use a different color for each. Creo que nos alcanza el arco iris. <laughs> oh. So no, but you have different ver. colors in there. No me deja. No sé por qué. Uh -huh. Change the color. Mm. Right there and Pero no creo que nos confundamos. Ok, if it works for you, no problem. I want to try another time. No, it's not the permit. No sé por qué no me deja. Bueno. Ok, este... go ahead, continue. Right. Right. Go ahead with the one that you feel more comfortable, ok? No problem. Okay. Thank See you. you so much. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. sigue, Atilio, con el último. Atilio, perdón. Este es el internet. Siempre le cambio el nombre. Lo siento. At the time, what we tune. Uh, the yellow line and don't not get to wear the airport okay. all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. <coughs> no sé si es a mí que me falla el inter o a alguien. Les oigo así cortado. Habría que, que ver la, la tercera parte. I listen here uh, perfectly. Yo les escucho bien a todos. Ok, ahorita sí ya les escucho bien. Muy bien. La tercera parte repetimos, ¿verdad? Hay que hacerla. Ajá. Le dice sí, sí, Um, acá tienen que asociar las diferentes áreas de Rex Facilities de las instalaciones de la compañía Rex para identificarla, ¿verdad? Acá, uh -huh. en este mapita, ¿ok? You okay. may use arrows, lines, or your type the, the name of the places. ¿Ok? El área de producción, la recepción, el área de...
teacher in the in part number three. Mm -hmm. Are we going? Eh, ahí no entendemos muy bien qué es lo que hay que hacer. Ahí está la instrucción. Mire, see the diagram. Vea el diagrama. Okay, of the Rex Company, de la compañía Rex. Esas son las facilities instalaciones. And identify the different places. Tiene que identificar los diferentes lugares. Acá los tiene. Which uh -huh. from these areas is the production area? ¿Cuál es la production area? No, es que, el, como ya se ha identificado ahí con la letra. Ah, pero eso pues sí, bien. no. Usted, pero... Para que veamos, tiene que ponerle el nombre o asociarlo con una flechita. Ah, Ajá, pues sí, para que Ajá. sepa cuál es el área. Porque ahí con las letras, ¿qué es? ¿Verdad? Si yo le quito uh -huh. esto, no va a saber cuál es, ¿de acuerdo? Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Pues sí, así como les dije, sí, era. Hay que poner ahí el nombre. Ajá. <risas> uh -huh. Production area. El B sería recepción. ¿Dónde está el B? Ahí. C sería área del C. ¿Sería qué? Área. No, sería planning área. Ay, no, no, es que el B es recepción área. Uh -huh. Ajá, ahí le falta en el B. Ah, no, ya la puso. Yo y la que no leí bien. <ríe> Ajá. El C sería planning área. Ay, que haga agua, pues siento que me arde la espalda ya. Why, Miss Sandra? Why are you so tired? ¿Por qué está tan cansada, Miss Sandra Leticia? Ay, lo que sucede es que ahorita en mi empresa llevamos ya cuarta semana en una planta. Eh, hubo paro de horno que lo que se hace es darle mantenimiento, cambiar piezas y todo a todo el horno. Entonces hay mucha gente en la planta, gente de extranjera, hay pero demasiada. Entonces nos ha tocado que cubrir 12 horas diarias, aparte de 12 horas diarias, fin de semana, por lo menos ahorita estaba leyendo mensajes y coordinándome con las compañeras porque hay que ir a cubrir el domingo ya llevamos cuatro fines de semana con esto y falta esta semana todavía so you have had what we said yesterday business guests invitados de negocios ya yeah. um, uh -huh. and you don't like that do you remember do you like to receive uh -huh. To give the welcome to the business guest. No, I don't. I'm not Mira, happy. Yeah. I don't like it. Okay, continue. <laughs> so sorry, miss. <laughs> okay. Quality. One. Sáquela un poquito más ahí. Quality. Quality control. Y ahí son las, las tres. Pero ahí en quality le falta control. Mm. Okay. 
kwa y ahí sigue la restroom restroom aquí a la par de recepción ahí ahí este pequeñito si no ponerlo bueno. afuera si no vamos a ver cómo se mira no no se mira feo afuera quiere que lo ponga ahí va Restroom. También. ¿No? También. Está bien ahí. No se miran bien, va. De ahí nos uh -huh. falta. Uh, restroom. The exit. Exit. La salida. Exit. ¿Dónde está la exit? Aquí va. Yeah. Sí, sigue ese. Ahí. Y abajo la I, parking. Hey. Ahí. Oh, sí, sí, ahí está todo. Saca un poquito la quality control. ¿Viste? Quality ah, control. Que le quede, porque no. ¿Y? Nelson? No, te quedó. No. Eh. Nelson. Hello. ¿Cuál es el control? Yes, yes. Eh. It's okay. Se los comparto. Ya. Yeah. En el chat de. Del Zoom, estamos solo nosotros. Eh, WhatsApp. Vaya, vaya. Llegó. Finished. 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 Okay, let's see. You have the parking over here, the exit, exit <coughs> the reception area, production area, restrooms, manager office, auditor <coughs> office, planning area, quality control. Okay, great. Uh, now I think we are going to get back because we need to go over number four. In this activity, you are going to imagine, okay? For example, but you take turns. Let's imagine that, um, to tell you an example, Nelson is in the parking. He's a business uh, visitor, business guest. Uh, here he is, has parked his car. Now he gets down, blah, blah, blah. And here you say, You are at the parking and you have these questions. Y luego van a hacer estas preguntas. At least one. For example, where are the restrooms? And here you have some phrases in order to provide the answer. You have, where are the restrooms? How should the, the, the answer begin? ¿Cómo iniciaría la respuesta? <coughs> Because the question is, where are? Where are? The restrooms. Comenzaríamos con it is or they are. 
they are. They are, they are, porque está preguntando por los baños. They baños. are, ajá, ellos o eh, los baños están, the restrooms are, y ahí le menciona una de esas frases que vamos a ver en este momento, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, so here we go, let's get back. Very well done class. I have been different, uh, okay, paying attention to the different uh, diagrams that you have been working with. And I would like to have one of you of the groups sharing with the class. Volunteer to share with the class. Who is going to share with the class? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Tony, we don't listen to you. I don't know what is the problem. Because it seems... No problem. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh, with the audio. It seems that the audio was on, but it was not. Okay. So what were you saying? That you are volunteering. Excellent. Choose one. Choose one. Another uh, one than me. <laughs> you, no, because I thought you were talking. So I thought that you were volunteering. Me, me, me. Okay. So class, let's be open and here we go, okay? Who wants to share volunteers to share only the image? De compartir solo la imagen. You're not going to talk. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, thank you so much. Two extra points. Yes. Two extra thanks. credits. Okay, class, pay close attention to this diagram. Maybe you have a different version, okay? Must scroll it. Thank you. Ah, finally you got it with different colors. Okay, congrats. Yes. So here, class, if you notice, some of you have written the name of each of the facilities in order to avoid mis any misunderstanding. But they did it in this a very creative way. They use different uh, arrows in different colors, okay, in order to go directly to the uh, facility that you have from A to I. Now, would you please scroll? Podría bajar la imagen. Because of the next exercise. I know. You also have the answer. So here, this is the next activity. And he is helping you. You are at the parking lot. Okay, this is the parking lot. So imagine that you are parking here your car, yes? And then you have these questions. Where are the restrooms? Donde están los baños? And then you have to use this uh, vocabulary uh, list of words, okay? This vocabulary list, go straight, turn left, turn right, turn left, gire a la izquierda, turn right, gire hacia la derecha. Walk 10 meters, camine 10 metros. Walk through the production area, camine a través de la, del área de producción. So go straight, vaya recto o siga recto, vaya hacia derecho. Okay, so here, if we ask where are the restrooms, what would you answer? Because you are here in the parking lot. And where are the restrooms? The restrooms are over here. So what would you say? Mm -hmm. Where are, donde están uh, los baños? And then you say, the restrooms, the restrooms are, ah, you may say, go straight, go straight, vaya recto, vaya derecho, okay, go uh, straight, the, the reception area, yeah, for, for, and walk 10 meters, or walk 10 meters from the reception area, ¿ya? Y ahí le está diciendo la dirección. Entonces vamos a utilizar 
go straight, turn left or right, walk 10 meters or walk through the production area. I don't know because the questions are, where are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager's office? And where is the exit? Okay, entonces vamos a utilizar estas frases que están acá para indicar qué ruta seguir para llegar a los lugares que está requiriendo esta persona, ok? We have okay. one, two, three, four, and uh, five because we have four bullets, but for turn left or turn right, you have two choices, right? And only four questions. Where are the restrooms, the quality control, the manager's office, and the exit? Because you are here in the parking, okay? Hello, okay, thank okay, you for teacher. sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. And now we're going to get started with activity number four. Here we go. Okay, let's work as a team. Trabajemos como equipo, de acuerdo? Okay, let's see if everybody's going to join to the teams. I hope everybody's going to join. I sent you the invitation. Please join your groups. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups. Uh, Mirna Lisette, are you going to join your groups? And Mariana Scarlett, Norma Patricia, Norma, we need you in your group. Norma Patricia. Thank you. And we need Mirna Lisette and Mariana Scarlett. I need you in your groups class. Okay, thanks for joining. In room. Turn right. ¿Cómo se dice? Al fondo. Al fondo. Uh, the bottom. Pero tienen que usar las frases que les están dando ahí. ¿Verdad? <coughs> no, disculpe. Tenía apagado el, el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, le decía que tienen que usar las frases que les están proporcionando acá, porque ah, son okay. one, two, three, four, ¿ok? Uh, sería walk for 10 meters, en eso que me dice al fondo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería walk for 10 meters, porque lo que desean es que utilicen estas frases que están acá. Ok. ¿Sí? Sería go stretch for reception area. Ok. Turn right and walk to 10 10 meters. Meters, yeah, it could be excellent. Yeah. Very well. Okay. Sí, porque la idea es que usen esto que les están dando en la acá. Porque son cuatro preguntas and you have four bullets. One, two, three, four, okay? Okay. Okay, okay well. Ah, pues no. No se nos unió a ti, entonces. No se unió. Que ah. tiene malo el... Uh -huh. Sí. Varios están con problemas del Inter, no sé qué pasará. Okay. 
Para San Pablo, así. Go to for 10 meters. Um, podría ser. Lo que pasa es que estoy uniendo varios, pero bueno. Porque no solo lo puedo dar con una tan sola indicación. Entonces, si estoy en el parqueo, necesito decirle que vaya primero a la recepción uh -huh. y que después en la recepción gire y llegue a los baños. Uh -huh. Yeah, because remember, uh -huh. it is a visitor. Because uh -huh. if, the, if the person doesn't know, they the, know the, the, the facilities, uh -huh, the facilities, that is why you need to give a correct uh, instruction to be followed. Yes? Pro Probably the guest is asked in the reception area. No, because here the instruction says you are at the parking. Está en el parqueo. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is why. Where is the quality control? Are here. And the quality is go straight. Go straight. Porque el punto de partida, según dice la instrucción, es el parking. Okay. Where is the manager office? Enter in the reception area and walk 10 meters and turn right. Así creo que es. Es con esas instrucciones tratar de llegar al, al lugar desde el lugar de donde pregunta. Partiendo desde parking, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, usted como diría, where is ¿Cómo llegaría en el número tres? Where is the manager office? Ay, papá, chica, ahí. Híjole, es que eso es lo complicado. <risa> No sería where in the parking go straight. Es que go straight es siga derecho. O vaya a ser recto. Ajá, o vaya a ser recto. Entonces tendría que ser in the reception area, pienso yo, go through the production area and turn right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué le está preguntando eso? ¿Cómo? Le está preguntando eso. What is quality control? No, manager office. No. My Wendy, where is the quality control? Por eso le digo. Para mí sería where where is the parking? No sé si estaría más. Go, go straight. Go straight. No. Hmm. No, no, no. complicado. ¿sí? 
Okay. Tu left, tu left, right es izquierda o derecha, va. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. To the right a la derecha. Right. To the left yeah. a la izquierda. To the left. Mm -hmm. To the left. Okay, I see. Quality, quality control. Sería. We're parking. To left. Quality control. Así. Ah, porque va Pero ahí hay una pared. Uh -huh. ¿Y por dónde se llega entonces? <risa> <risa> es que eso estoy tratando de analizar yo por qué lado llegar. <risa> o sea, si aquí está el parque, yo creo que hay que entrar por la recepción y después buscar el porque estos negros son paredes entonces si entra de aquí directo sí ahí no se choco, puede choco ajá. choco ajá air reception y y cómo para llegar a quality control dígame Enter in the reception area and turn, turn uh, area. left and go straight to the planning area and turn left to the quality control. Oh, control. Así creo yo. Habría que ver otra, otra manera con otras. Otra opción. Ajá. Porque yo dije de la recepción, cruzar. Ajá. Cruzar. Ahora la... tiene que llegar a recepción. Ese es el primer punto por donde tiene que pasar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ahí girar sería a la izquierda, sería el left. Uh -huh. uh, por el patio, pero hall es pasillo. Hall. Uh -huh. Porque aquí no hay, no hay entrada, tiene que subir. No es la que está aquí en medio. Esta. Esa, ajá. Ah, esta entrada. Ah, chico, no la había visto. Pensé que era una manchita en, en la línea. Ok, entonces sería. Sí. Esta sería. Go start for several areas. Well, 10 meters on two left, and then two left, and both 10 meters and two right. Okay. Okay. Where is the manager office? Manager office. Manager office. La D, Berta. Sí. Ajá, entonces siempre sería go strike for reception area. Well, Walls ten, ten meters and two right. Two right. A la derecha. Two right. Ah, ya voy. No estoy peleando. Así. Go strike for reception area. Wall. Ten meters. And two right. And two right. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. 
Uh, where is the exit? Where is the last one? Ay, ay, ay. Where is the exit? Ah. Uy. Go sign for reception yeah. area. Go 10 meters and two left. Ah, por ahí serían más. No se vea 10 metros. And two left. And two left. Casi parecida a la. A la... A la segunda. A la segunda. Ajá. Ah, en tu left, nuevamente tu left. Ajá. Y para tu left. En wall 10 meters. En tu right. Uno es mi. Vos try quality control. Una otra vez sería la, 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 la de control, no, ¿verdad? No sería. <coughs> es que um, sí sería, sería central porque no hay, no hay abajo. No, ahí tendría que pasar por, por, por la de control. Ajá. And then to left and go. Oh, there's 10, 10 meters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to right. <laughs> casi, que, casi que es igual a, a, a la. A la. A quality control. A la uh -huh. number, uh, number two. Number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso, por eso les decía que después de poner después de poner en the to left en Walton Meadows podríamos poner en go strike quality control ajá en to left en then en go strike <coughs> Escríbala como, como dice usted en el cuadrito que tenía. Ahorita. Control. Hello, class. Did you finish? No, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. You are the first group finishing. Okay. okay, five point. A todos le queremos sacar punto hoy. Okay. Me llega esa es la que tú les. Okay, oiganme aparte del del de la situación con el ítem en la tarea seis no han tenido con la plataforma ningún otro problema. Y ese de que. No he entrado justo Ajá, a... Ajá, porque para, para ver videos o algo así, ¿todo está disponible? Sí, para... Sí. para... Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, es que como actualizaron la plataforma en ese sentido, entonces hubo como dos o tres días que... Los no... videos no se podían ver. Así Ajá, como, eso. Ajá, pero... cabal. Ahí lo estaban actualizando, pero ahora ya... Pero ya, ya, ya se, se pudo. Puede. Sí. Ah, vaya, sí. Es que, es que nos pidieron eso. Y eh, algunos compañeros no los podían subir porque, por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero a mí sí me dieron acceso rápido para subírselos, ¿ok? Pero está hablando de los videos de la plataforma o de YouTube. De los, los de YouTube. Los videos de la plataforma que, donde, se, donde uno repasa la, las, Ajá. las clases. Ajá, ah, sí. Aquí como... Porque ahí lo van moviendo, ¿verdad? Eh, Van actualizando con cada una de las clases los videos que nosotros vamos subiendo. ¿sí? Ah, yo lo, yo lo veo en YouTube. Ajá. Y sí los podía ver porque tampoco se podían ver en YouTube, pero hoy sí ya. Ok. Sí, sí de hecho yo estuve viendo unos videos ahora. Ok. So, let's return. If you finish, let's return. Because it's almost time. Ok. Here we go. Thank you for your active participation. Okay. Okay, let's return.
get ready for the second attendance. I'm going to call your names to take the second attendance. Okay, here we go. Atilio, are you here, Atilio? No, he is absent. Brandon? Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria? Present. Thank you. Concepcion? Present. Thank you, Darío is absent. Stephanie Carranza? is absent. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Yeah, thank you. Juan Antonio? Here. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Miguel? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Marianne Scarlett? Absent. Marina Jansi? Absent. Uh, normally set, normally set, here, Nelly, Lilibet, Nelly is absent, Nelson Orlando, present teacher, thank you, Norma Patricia, present teacher, okay, Pablo. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present oh, teacher. Here. Thank you. Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carla Sofia is absent and Celia Cristina is absent. Listen. What you have been practicing is one of the most troublesome situations to Salvadoran people because we are not used to give the correct instructions because we use associated places. Miren, lo que hemos estado haciendo es una de las cosas como que más difíciles para los salvadoreños porque somos malos para dar direcciones porque no conocemos la nomenclatura. Y también para dar instrucciones. ¿Por qué? Porque trabajamos con asociaciones. Ay, no, en buen salvadoreño, dígame a la par de qué lugar está. O mencioneme un edificio, ¿sí o no? Entre entonces, por la salida. Le... Ajá, entonces por eso es que eh, se le vuelve a la gente un poco difícil este tema. Pero en realidad, si lo tienen ahí, no, no es difícil, ¿ok? So, Mr. We're going to start. Luis Miguel, ask the first question to one of your classmates. Question number one. Okay. Where, where is the reception area? area? The question goes to? ¿Quién va a contestar? Um, Sandra. Sandra Leticia. Do you have the answer, Sandra Leticia Peraza? Where is the reception area? Uh, no, teacher, yo no la, no la pude okay, hacer. Okay, okay. Who wants to help uh, Sandra Leticia answering question number one? Claudita. Okay, Claudia. He volunteered you, miss. It wasn't me, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> From the parking, go straight and walk 10 meters. That could be a good answer, yes? Do you accept that answer? Yes, acabo de llegar. 
<laughs> I am in. I just come in. I'm in. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Now, Miss Claudia Maria, ask question number two to another classmate. But don't ask to Luis, another classmate. Okay. No okay. revenge. Uh, to Mirna. Uh, where is the quality control? Mirna Lisette, where is the quality control? Hello, Mirna Lisette, are you here? Okay, who wants to help Mirna Lisette because she doesn't have the answer? Mm. Nobody has the answer. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Go strange for reception area. Walk 10 meters and turn left, and then turn left and walk 10 meters and turn right. <laughs> okay, turn left twice, and then walk the other 10 meters and then turn right. Okay, another, another potential answer for that question. Another possibility. Otra posibilidad que tenga otro equipo. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Okay, Miss to Tony, Mr. Tony. Sorry. Go, Go to the reception it. area and turn left. Walk through the production area. Quality control is next to the exit door. Excellent. Very well. No, because in my screen. The message was next to the name of Sandra Leticia. That's why I got confused, okay? Don't misunderstand me. Don't get okay. me wrong. Now, Tony, you ask question number three to another partner. Yes. Where is the manager office? Wendy Maricela? Hello? <laughs> Do you have the answer? Repeat the questions. Okay. Where is the manager office? Where is the manager? Where is the left? Okay. Where is the manager's office? Who wants to help her? ¿A quién le gustaría ayudarle a Wendy? Porfa. Okay. Maybe Concepción Marina. <laughs> and Nelson wants to help you. Okay, Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Okay. Uh... Sería... Go straight for reception area. Well, 10 meters on the right and to right. Okay, now Nelson, you ask question number four. Ah, number four. Yeah, you you know you ask. Yeah, yeah. You read question four. Okay. Um. um Concepción. Okay. Where is the exit? The exit is West Race for reception area. Walk 10 meters and turn left and then turn left and go straight quality control. And finally walk 10 meters and turn right. Okay, no me perdí. <laughs> No, and okay, you have to enter to the facilities and then you at the end, because if you are here. Okay, thank you so much. We accept that version. You see everyone, depending on your perspective, you give the answer, yes? Okay, thank you, Mr. Tony Elias for sharing. Okay, now let's continue and here we go. Let's see. Now that we have been working you see in this area, 
we move towards okay here. Um, we're going to be working on rules and prohibitions at my workplace. Yeah, because in here, let me see. Here we have the structure before we go over that. If you remember at the beginning, I told you how to use it's not allowed. Use it's not allowed to talk about prohibitions or something that is not permitted to you, for you to do that we have in a particular place. It is not allowed to smoke inside the facilities. It is not allowed to take tools home. Llevarse las herramientas a la casa, no. Okay, it is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. It is not allowed to use cell phones. In many companies, you need to leave your cell phone in your locker or at the entrance, yeah? Because it is a distraction or it is not, because it is not allowed to take any picture of the workplace or any video, yeah? Because they, okay, they don't like that. It is not allowed to sleep in working hours. Uh, it is not allowed to run in any area of the company. So uh, class, we are at page 26. And here, look at this. Get in person, discuss the rules you both have in your workplace. And you are going to write a short paragraph, a uh, six line paragraph about the rules and prohibitions at your workplace. Uh, let's see, for example, I'm going to say, hmm, where is it, this one. Okay, in my workplace, it is not allowed to check the social networks, okay? The social networks, personally. It is not allowed to... Mm, what else? To eat, to eat in the working area. Yes. Oh, okay. No, in my case, in my working area, right in the in the in the classrooms. Yeah. But in your in your cases, in your in your at your desk, okay, or in your office, and so on. So right now, this is what you're going to do. Okay, you get in person in groups and discuss what is allowed for you to do because in some places you are allowed to eat uh, at the office, but in some other places, mm -mm, no, not even to drink coffee in the office is allowed. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to discuss about prohibitions and what is allowed and is not allowed to. And if it is possible, you write it as I did, okay? Is it clear or it is not clear? Estamos, see? ¿Sí? Okay, let's go and begin working. I'm going to share the breakout rooms right now. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups, please. Nelly, your group. Nelly Lilibet, ¿con quiénes estaba? Eh, con Pablo, eh, Tony y Luis. Okay, I'm going to assign you. It is group number two. Mariana Scarlett, Mirna Lisset, and Nelly. Lilibet, please join your groups. Thank you. Prohibiciones de lo que no se debe hacer en el trabajo. Lo que no nos permiten hacer. Yeah. In some places, it is not allowed to go to another desk to talk to your co-worker. En algunos lugares no es permitido que te levantes de tu escritorio y vayas al escritorio de alguien más a hablar. Yeah? Because they say you are wasting your time. Okay? My company um, do not win. I 
Espera que me acabo de equivocar. In my workplace, in my workplace. Hey. Chiquita. In my office, is not allowed to. Talk loud. To speak aloud. Speak aloud. Yes, thank you. Usted, Wendy. ¿Cómo se dice? Yes, Miss. Yes. No. Hola. No. La primera, la number one, es no. No. no qué no es permitido it is not allowed qué no, no es permitido qué tiene que hacer una oración bueno con el allow oh. como los no sé. it is uh, something that they don't let you do in your company. Algo que no le permiten hacer en su oficina como parte de la regla, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. For example, it is not allowed to, to okay. smoke. Sí. No. Pero en la, no, pero en la realidad, ¿qué es lo que no le permiten a usted hacer? Um, El uso de no, de no usar las herramientas de la empresa. ¿No usa las herramientas de la empresa no, en la compañía? No, no. No, o sea, no traérmelas para mí. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y otra más? Um, no puedo hablar por teléfono. Ok. I am not allowed to, uh, yeah. to talk on the phone. Ok. Oh. También, este, por ejemplo, eh, si nos asignan, digamos, algo que hacer, eh, sabemos que nada más eso, tenemos permiso, digamos, este, no hacer lo que no nos corresponde, por decirlo así. Uh, we are not allowed to break the rules. Romper las reglas. We are not allowed to break the rules. Sí, porque si va a ser lo que no le corresponde, está rompiendo las reglas. We are not allowed to break the rules. Uh -huh. Clara. Oh. 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 Yes, Miss. ¿Cómo puedo poner? No puedo tomar promocionales. ¿Cómo les quiero decir? O sea, como que no puedo tomar los promocionales sin que mi jefe lo autorice. Uh, son como muestras. Sí, no, ajá, es que nosotros, ajá. empresa, por cada evento que hacemos, regalamos promocionales. Pues sí, pero son muestras gratis. Sí. Ajá. Ok, sí. Um, I am not allowed to take. Uh, Free samples. I am not allowed to take free samples unless my boss authorizes it. A menos que mi jefe lo autorice. Okay. So you say, I am 
not allowed to take free samples unless my bus mm, authorizes it, lo autorice, okay? Unless my boss authorizes it. Authorizes it. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> hello, hello. There is one group still working on, on the activity, but they are coming soon, okay? So class, right now, I would like to share one or two of your sentences that you created about your reality at work, okay? Something that you are not allowed to do. Hello, who wants to share one or two sentences about the activities that you are not allowed to, one or two sentences that you would like to share with the class? Una o dos oraciones que les gustaría compartir con las clases de que lo que no se les permite hacer, you're not allowed to in your companies. I know allowed to make TikToks in my company. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because in some companies, okay, excellent, very well. In my company, it's not allowed to smoke with the uniform. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Very well done. Is there another participant? Okay, class. Listen, what did we practice today in class? ¿Qué practicamos hoy en la clase? The location of the Instruction for all the same uh, some places in, in our uh, buildings or in, in our offices. Okay, or companies, very well. Okay. And at the end, what did you practice? The grammar structure that you practice? Allowed, not allowed. Not yeah? allowed. Not allowed, very well. Okay, I'm going Only to only allowed or not allowed to um, i think that allowed is allowed permit uh-huh uh-huh yeah to permit yeah uh, okay i'm going to ask you to enjoy your weekend to rest please be careful because the virus is again everywhere believe it or not keep your safety measures hand sanitizer the face mask okay don't believe it that it is not outside. A lot of people are, again. So I'm going to ask uh, Miss Concepcion to stay with me for a couple of minutes, okay? And for the rest of you, thank you so much. Have a nice weekend and see you Monday, okay? You Have a good Monday. night. Good night for Only Miss Concepcion stays with me, please. Have a good night. Bye-bye. You. Enjoy your weekend class. See you Monday. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Good, night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Miss Concepcion, here we go. Um, do you have any problem with the structure allowed? The one that we were practicing at the end? No. Not allowed to? Okay. No, it is clear. It is clear. Okay. Tell me some of the of the prohibitions that you have in your company. Share with me. Uh, it's not allowed to sleep in working hours. Okay, very well. 
is uh, not allowed smoking in the work area. Okay. And is not allowed to work in short, only uh, use wearing formal formal dress. Uh, uh, because there is a dressing code, yeah? Uh -huh. But you don't wear uniform. No. Uh-huh, but there is a dressing code, even though you don't wear a uniform, but there is a dressing code, yes? Yes. Okay, excellent, very well. And are you allowed to eat in the office? Yes, it is allowed because the, the office is very... Pequeña, a little small, 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 small. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't work with customers service, no. Yes. Okay, you don't work with customer service. No trabaja con clientes. Como no. Oh. I I work with customers, but I in the the offices. Uh, yeah. Como le don't. toca comer en las oficinas porque no hay más espacio. Ah, that is the reason why. So there mm -hmm. is no cafeteria in your in your company. No, you take your food uh, from mm -hmm. outside, or you ask for a delivery. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. That is interesting to know. That is why they allow you to uh to eat in the office because there is no other space. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to practice uh, reading for a while. Okay. Vamos a practicar lectura. Okay. And here we go. Okay, here. Would you please read for me this short conversation we practiced today? Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earpods all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, very well. And in your company, because you told me that it is a kind of small facility, right? Uh, do you have restrictions to move from one area to another one? Um, no. No? Like in here, because uh, they say um, it is important not to get close to the red areas. So in your company, no restriction, you can move from one place to the other one because it is a small facility. It's a small, yes. it should be catering in small in a small facility. Okay, mm -hmm. very well. And I think that with there is and there are no problem for you, right? Yeah. No. Okay, now here we go. Please read this conversation. Let's read it. I'm going to be Miss Jenner and you read Michael and later we switch, okay? Okay. Uh, good morning. Mm -hmm. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounges? or recreational places. Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Excellent, now let's switch, you begin. Good morning, are you Michael Perez? Uh, good morning, yes I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listener? Yes, absolutely. The <clears throat> conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? 
is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building. Actually, here there's a mistake because you have Miss Jenner two times, and uh -huh. it should be Miss <laughs> Jenner and here Michael, right? Yes. Okay, so you see, we are humans, right? And here we continue with this other conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm Tom, and you are Orson. Here we go. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Holt. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company, there are 25 branches in the country. The falta ira, that's great. No, you say that's great. I visited one oh. of the stores. Uh huh. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I visited on the on the store in the other day. Oh. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one of Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, now we switch. You begin. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Um, I know that. Oh, sorry, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador town, Tom. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, very well. Now let's continue with the products. Okay, over here on this conversation. I am John and you read Ben. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stack our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover? for chocolate caramel. What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is uh, 30 per unit. That's great. Now we switch, you begin. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did, I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? I, what about the cost? <laughs> the same happened to you, okay? Right what about now, the cost? <laughs> right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Okay. We had that conversation. Mm -hmm. And here, um, I am Peter and you are Bertha. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Mm, because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think what they should do, what other companies are doing. And that is? getting new equip equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Now let's switch, okay? Berta, do you think that our company should provide the manufacturing process? I believe so. <clears throat> Why do you ask? Because if we do soon, we reduce cost. 
I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Excellent. Very well. And now here, I do remember that cycle. Here, uh, I am Miss Nunez and you are Mr. Roland. Hello, okay. Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Now you are Miss Nunez. Hello, Miss Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do, must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of thumb and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meet the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, filling in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Excellent. Very well, Miss. We're going to stop here because you're a little bit sick. Be careful because of the seasonal flu, okay? Por la yes. gripe estacional. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also, you know that the other virus is over there. So be careful, relax, rest, and have a great uh, weekend, okay? Week. See you Monday, okay. Miss. Enjoy your weekend. You have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Bye.